This week, though, it's Men's Health Week, the time of the year where we draw attention to the issues most affecting men and hopefully inspire dads, brothers and sons to take better care of themselves. I'm joined in the Harvey Norman Lounge today by fellow ambassador Art Green. Good to see you, Art. Good to see you too, Mike. I'm starting to know how a bachelorette feels, because every time I see you, there's a camera in front of us. <laughs> Is our relationship real? I don't know. <laughs> 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 it's real to me, Mike. Oh, good. No, just checking. Um, no, no, it is great to have you on a more serious issue. It's Men's Health Week. Um, you're an ambassador, which is fantastic. When did you start caring about your health? Um, I guess probably it wasn't until... I, I studied sports science and some nutrition papers and stuff at university, but I never really took that on board for myself personally until I started uh, managing a gym over in Western Australia and I started to have a lot of people coming to me for guidance on what they should be doing for their physical activity or for their nutrition. So that's when I started to do a lot more research because I found that what I knew about all these sorts of things from university wasn't necessarily still relevant right. um, or current. So I kind of re-educated myself and then I started thinking about things for myself and testing different diets and physical activity and all sorts of different things on myself to find what I found worked best for me. So that then I could speak from experience about that. So that's kind of probably about six or seven years ago I really started to to do that for myself with my own health. And clearly the paleo lifestyle that you're living has had some incredible health benefits for you. What, what, what are some of them? Yeah, look, it's been life-changing. Um, I sort of, although it does have the word paleo, really it's all just about eating healthy whole foods, so trying to stay away from refined and processed foods. Um, and for me, it's just been, I've had so much more energy throughout the day. I don't get tired after eating. I used to think that was like a normal right. thing, but now I just have sustained energy throughout the whole day. I find I have uh, mental clarity that's, yeah, a lot better than it was. Um, and my mood is always, well, not always, but it's a lot more upbeat and I, um, yeah, I just yeah, I feel more motivated and happy. One of, one, one of the big issues this year for Men's Health Week is, you know, trying to prevent heart disease. Mm. Uh, you know, when we're looking at that, is knowing your family history important? Yeah, I mean, hugely. So heart disease is a huge killer in New Zealand. I think it kills about one person every 90 minutes, which is, like, insane. Mm. Um, and there are, you know, there are, I think there are three key factors that sort of determine your likelihood of developing um, heart disease. So there's, you know, the food that you're eating uh, or that you're not eating, um, so your diet, uh, your physical activity, how active you are during the day, um, and then also your family history. So some of us, all of us can get heart disease, but some of us naturally are born um, a little bit more likely to, and that's right. your family history. So doing things like, um, well, going to your doctor and talking to them about it, um, talking about your, the risks that you're at, um, talking to people in your family, determining if you do have a family history, um, and then working out ways to manage that. Now, obviously, you know, part of becoming healthy, you don't have to do everything that you've done. You could just do one of those, couldn't you? Whether it's a simple lifestyle change with the foods that you're eating or even just picking up a, a little bit of exercise. And yeah. then when you're ready, start doing the Art Green lifestyle. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, for myself, I personally try and... I try and have the healthiest body that I can right. and the healthiest mind. So mm -hmm. mental well-being is big for me oh, as well. Oh, yes, I can tell. Yes. Um, but, <laughs> but that's not to say that like, everyone has to try and what? do exactly what I do because everyone responds differently to different yeah. things and some foods may respond well to you but not to me. Um, and you definitely don't need to go all out. I think it's a, the best thing to do is a slow progression yeah. towards health. So little things a day. Like, um, I found, actually, I found having a Fitbit was was big for me um, because I've always been pretty active, but it just always reminds me. And I've got um, you know a leaderboard on my Fitbit thing with my, my dad and my sister and friends and stuff, and we're always competing. And so I find little things like that. Um, it means that I take the um, stairs more than the lift and. Little bits to get me more active, I think it's really great. Well, well that is brilliant. You know, and I, you know, same thing last year, Men's Health Week. I got myself a fit, but it does keep me on track mm. most of the time. Um, but, you know, there's lots of different steps you can take as well with Men's Health Week. Look, it is very important. If you want to get your Men's Health score, there's a simple website to go to. You can go to menshealthweek.co.nz, look for the Acuro Watch Your Score button, click on that, and uh, I'll tell you what, you will certainly be able to see where you sit in terms of Men's Health. Thank you, Art, for coming in. Really good to see you again. Good to it's also Rose Day. No Rose? Still?
No, no, I left them at home. No, no, still no right. It's also <laughs> Superman Day. We're at Superman on <laughs> Yeah, true. Right. <laughs> okay, cool. Go, go <laughs> online and check your score. Uh, so much going on with Men's Health Week. What a great way to start it with that, Green.